believable, my wonderful people. See the new thing, or oh, not be smart, you know. It says, Scare tactics will not bring down Tinubu. Keyamu replies, PDP. They say they want you scare tactics. So Keyamu say, Where well, say PDP want you scare tactics for 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 Ashiwaju and made Bola Tinubu say, Where well, that scare tactics not go work. He say, Because eh, they'd already get the bar. Whether you like them or not, eh, they, they go forward, you know, so that the plan, so they don't plan be that. It says, Scare tactics no go walk anyway my wonderful people you can see for yourself that um, things are beginning to change quite quickly you know things are not no longer the same the way they used to be you see anyway please let's don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's see all that is going on let's work together scare tactics will not bring down tinubu kiyamu replies pdp the spokesperson for the Tinubu Shetima's Presidential Campaign Council, Festus Kiyamu, said the scare tactics deployed by the People Democratic Party will not bring down the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Kiyamu, however, demanded an apology from the People Democratic Party over the comment made against Tinubu. PDP presidential campaign council had accused Tinubu of, bring, of being desperate to become president by hook or by crook. The spokesperson for the People Democratic Party Presidential Campaign Management Committee, Senator Dino Malaya, said the desperation of Tinubu to be president of Nigeria at all costs, by all means, and by hook or by crook, was equivalent, evident in the change during his woeful outing in London, which everyone can see. Meanwhile, Malaye claimed that Tinubu played dumb when asked critical questions on governance, but suddenly roamed into vibrancy, threatening to snatch power. He became alive. Malaye then asked how else will power be snatched through the ballot box if not for the resort to violence, electoral violence, and other unpredicted methods to grab power. However, Kiyamu, in a press statement titled Released on Friday, said Mal Malaya and PDP comments are undemocratic and they should apologize to Ashiwa Jamen Bolantinubu unreservedly. Kiyamu added that PDP and that PDP was devising, devising a plot to bring down the APC presidential candidate through unnecessary scandal and scare tactics, but it will not work because they are ready for him. The minister stressed that this is what they employ and engaged in in 2019 election, which led to the crashing defeat of the People Democratic Party. He said, instead of concentrating on the, on the disease presently ravaging their party, and praying to God for healing, for them to survive the 2023 election. We are watching a different people facing those who are not from them. It is a shame that they cannot concentrate and put themselves in order. All that they are practically doing now have no part in anything that could possibly change the country. They are the ones who are desperate, not us. The Minister of for State and Labor Employment added that Tinubu was a thorough and well-groomed man ready to take Nigeria to the next level. So you can know Kiyamo, okay, and the Dino Malaye. Uh -huh. You know, when you see those people, you know that uh, there is a fire on the mountain. And so this is what is happening right now, okay? This is what is going on right now. And everybody is particularly worried and asking themselves the same question, okay? What exactly is happening? So Tinobu, Dino Malaye, you know, uh, Festus Kiyamu, everybody's fighting for his masters, so don't get it twisted. Everyone is just fighting for his masters. It's not because they care. It's not because they want, you know, a different ball game. They are just doing all that they possibly can. And guess what is for themselves? Okay? 
So this is what is going on and everybody needs to work at it and ensure that you know we do not allow the same thing to to continue over and over again if we want nigeria to become a better place everybody needs to work at it you know the job is not for one person it's for all okay everybody needs to work at it everybody needs to know what they're doing and ensure that you know things become better and better and better for all so this is what is happening this is what is going on and everybody needs to ensure that when it comes to time of voting, Nigerians cannot stay back and pretend. Okay, we cannot stay back and pretend. Everybody is lining up to it and ensuring that we get the ball right rolling. Yes, we must get the ball right and rolling without mixing words. We must get things done decently and in order and bring the country out of the present predicament. Okay, so this is what is happening right now. Um, it's it's honestly a sincere uh, call for attention and everybody needs to make sure that you know we put things right on track and ensure that the think that things do not remain in the same way and everything is working in accordance the way they should go okay so it is honestly a, a matter for you know Nigerians to pay consideration to and ensure that we do not you know, uh, allow those who are employing all forms of tactics to humiliate us and to put us in a daring position. Okay, if we want this nation to become better, we all need to work at it. Okay, we all need to work at it. So this is what is happening right now, my people. This is what is going on. Okay, this is what is going on. Anyway, my wonderful people, don't forget that it is about time we make this difference and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be it's about time it's about time okay never again should we allow the same people okay who have not been there to come on and become leaders and destroy the nation in no small way we can't allow such we just can't allow such no not never not again no not never it is terrible that these things are happening it is sincerely terrible Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Remember, you have a voice. Let's speak out together and have a decent country for us all. Bye-bye.